So Ron DeSantis is doing his best to appeal to the racist vote in the Republican Party. Let's talk about it in today's video. Hi, I'm Mike Greiner. I'm a lifelong Democratic activist who's concerned about the direction our country is taking. I'm also a lawyer and an academic, and I'm here to help you stand up to the BS of the MAGA crowd. So Ron DeSantis' latest attack is against an African-American Studies AP class being put together by the College Board. Currently, the College Board is looking for high schools across the country, 60 of them, who are basically going to try out this class and see how it works and suggest changes to the curriculum as they develop it. DeSantis, though, jumped on the bandwagon to immediately say, stop, we can't allow such things to be taught to our students. God forbid we teach our students about the history of African Americans, notwithstanding the fact that there are a lot of them who live in Florida. And Florida, hate to say it, actually engaged in slavery. And some of the largest attacks on black people occurred in that state. So God forbid Floridians hear about that. But this is just part and parcel with DeSantis's strategy. I mean, we all heard about how he was rejecting math textbooks because they taught critical race theory, even though most of the reviewers didn't find any evidence of that. And in fact, when they released the supposedly problematic texts, they really weren't bad at all. And of course, we all know about the Don't Say Gay legislation and his subsequent attack on Disney because they dared stand up to him. But this latest attack on specifically an African-American studies class reveals just how racist the Republican Party has become. I saw on Facebook someone asking the question, is Ron DeSantis just an asshole or is he a racist? And the truth of the matter is it's kind of hard to tell. It could be that he's just ambitious. And in today's Republican Party, guess what? Racism sells. I mean, check out this recent video from Fox News that just reveals how completely racism has infected the Republican Party. Adam Gillette is the president of Accuracy and Media. His investigation exposed those teachers hiding what they're doing in these schools. How surprised were you when you saw that tape? You know, not very much, because at this point, I've been in over 150 school districts across the country, and we saw the same thing again and again and again. And we didn't go to Berkeley, California, or Boulder, Colorado. We went to red states like Florida, and we find the same social justice, critical race theory everywhere we go. Wait a minute. They're teaching about social justice? God forbid that people learn about being just in America. Let's keep watching. Do they discuss why they're trying to push this propaganda on kids? Watch the choice of language here, propaganda. I mean, there's no talk about history class being propaganda, even though when you look at its name, his story. It's clear that it's being told from a certain perspective. And before you cast aspersions, I was a history major in college. So I know whereof I speak. Let's keep watching. Absolutely. And I'll tell you, these aren't one-dimensional villains. They mean well. They're happy to break the law because they think it's in the best interest of every child to learn about social justice and systemic racism and how capitalism is inherently racist. They Okay, again, God forbid anybody learn about social justice. I mean, we don't want to find out about people standing up to racism and slavery. God forbid that happens. But what's more is he says it's teachers violating the law. And yet, when the DeSantis administration announced that they were not going to allow this African-American studies class to be taught in Florida schools, they could not cite any law that the class violated. But what's more is I think there is a law out there called, oh, the First Amendment to the Constitution. And that says that you can't stop people from expressing their opinions. Specifically, government can't stop them from expressing their opinions. And this sure sounds to me like an effort by government to get in the way of free speech. So much for it being progressives stopping speech from being expressed and canceling people for their controversial views. Let's keep watching. I mean well by those kids. 
But obviously what they view as best for those kids is probably dramatically different from what their parents view as best for their child. Well, I think in many of these cases, when some of these teachers are teaching these classes, they are purposely trying to violate the law because what they're hoping in some cases is that they'll be prosecuted and they can take this law to court. Taking a law to court, of course, is one way that you can finally have it addressed. And the hope is that the courts will legitimately apply standard first amendment doctrine to this law and finds that it violates it. But yet again, making clear that when they said there was a law banning this class, they couldn't specifically cite which one it was. Let's keep watching. They really should not be hiding this from parents. Do parents find out about this or... How are they hiding it from parents? This guy obviously just went into classes and found out about it. Maybe parents should try, oh, I don't know, talking with your children, being involved in their education. I know those are outrageous ideas, but maybe people might want to try that. Let's keep watching. Because some of these code words and the way they spin it, I mean, even I wouldn't know, and I'm pretty suspicious. Oh, I've heard dozens of them. Instead of talking about privilege, they now call it circumstance. They started teaching social and emotional learning as a Trojan horse for critical race theory. Okay, let's be clear about something. This guy doesn't know what critical race theory is, or if he does, he's lying about it. Critical race theory has nothing to do with social and emotional learning. Social and emotional learning is an important thing for children to learn, which is basically how to get along with each other. God forbid we teach people how to get along with each other. And if they're teaching about circumstance versus privilege, that might have to do with the fact that people certainly end up in certain circumstances circumstances without it specifically giving them any benefit or not, let the students draw their own conclusions. Oh, but my God, we can't allow people to have facts and draw their own conclusions, can we? We have to tell them what to think. That's the conservative idea. Let's keep watching. In math classes and in some states, when parents caught on to that, they started calling that something else. It's Again, in math classes, when again, when DeSantis revealed what was supposedly problematic with these math textbooks, it was pretty lame. Let's keep watching. It's an endless game of whack-a-mole, and these pros are always going to stay one step ahead of the parents. Ah, uh, yes, this is what we're trying to do, which is to kind of make teachers the bad guy. You know, that elite, those people who you can resent. That's what they play on in the Republican Party, which is the resentment of these white people who feel that they will no longer be able to be treated with the privilege that they've gotten used to. Let's keep watching. Are we going to do anything about these wacky school officials that you caught on? Wacky school officials. Check this out. I love the choices of language that this guy uses. Let's keep, and he says that we're engaging in propaganda. Let's keep watching. Tape, are any of them being suspended? I, I don't know. You know, some of them might be, but they'll probably be replaced by somebody just like them, only wise enough to keep their mouth shut and not tell anybody what they're up to. You know, they pass these laws that ban CRT, and they're not worth the paper they're printed on. These radicals don't care about the law. They tell us that they're... Quote I think actually they do care about the law. As I recall, again, there is a law called the First Amendment to the Constitution. I would say the people who are trying to stop freedom of speech are the ones who are not caring about the law. Let's keep watching. Happy to close the door and teach whatever they want and do what's right. The law means nothing to them. The only solution is school choice where the money follows the child. That's Ah, here's what's really going on. We're trying to destroy public education. This is not some legitimate effort to be concerned about the welfare of parents and their ability to be involved in their children's education. This is about destroying public education so that only the wealthy will be able to afford high quality education for their children. And their talk about school choice where money can follow the child is just a Trojan horse for reinstituting segregation and Jim Crow, which again, that's what they want. 
So when conservatives get mad at me for calling them racist, well, you know what? If you don't want to be called racist, don't be racist. This isn't the first time, though, that Ron DeSantis has engaged in racist rhetoric. If you want to find out more, check out this video I did a little while ago about him. I'll see you then. In the meantime, let's hope for continued progress. Thank you.